5a from the 2021 exam says consider the function y equals f of x whose curve is given by the equation 2y squared minus 6 equals y sine x for y greater than 0. Now, so this is an implicit function, and when we differentiate that implicit function, we need to show that we get this derivative in a. So for a, I'll do a here. So for a, we're going to differentiate this expression. So we start with 2y squared minus 6 equals y sine x. We're going to differentiate this with respect to x. So we end up with 4y times. And I'm going to end up with the chain rule. So y prime minus 0 equals differentiating the y here again. Here I have to make sure I apply product rule. So when I apply product rule, I differentiate the y and I leave the sine x undifferentiated plus y and then this becomes cosine x. Okay, so then I'm just going to group my y prime terms. So I'm going to bring my, I have here 4y times y prime. is plus, or so it's going to be minus, minus y prime sine x, and that's equal to y cosine x, and factoring out the y prime, we end up with y prime bracket and here y prime and then we end up with 4y minus sine x okay, and that's going to be the denominator of that term so we get y cosine x and then our final answer we end up with y prime equals And we write this as a fraction y cosine x all over 4y minus sine of x. Okay, so there it is. So that is the result that I'm looking for. So I've shown using the steps to do that. So part b says write an equation for the tangent line for the curve at point 0 root 3. So to write the equation of the tangent line, I need the slope and I need a point. Well, I have the point already. So really all I need to do is calculate slope. So slope is going to be calculated from the derivative at that point. X is 0, Y is root 3. So when I plug that into my expression, Y is root 3 x is 0, so I get root 3 cos 0, 4 times root 3 minus sine of 0. Okay, this simplifies to root 3 times 1, cosine of 0 is 1. Okay, so if I want to draw that in, cosine of 0, that's going to be 1 there, over 4 root 3 minus sine of 0 is going to be 0. Okay, so the y positioning on the unit circle is 0, so I get 0. So then simplifying this out, I get root 3's cancel out, so I end up with the slope of positive 1 over 4. Knowing the slope then, I can just plug it into the point slope form. So there's my slope and my point at 0, root 3, and I'm just going to leave my answer in the point slope form.